purpose of tonight's meeting is to discuss the former Article 5 that was on the town, um, town um, meeting day ballot. And it has to do with the sidewalks going up toward Bishop Marshall. And I'd like to turn the meeting over to Dawn. And before I do that, um, there won't be any community concerns or select board concerns with this meeting. And most of the meeting is going to be um, hearing from the planning council, probably Josh Goldstein primarily. Thanks, Don. Thank you, Judy. Um, so are there any agenda changes or additions? No. Okay. So our one item, as Judy said, is to uh, discuss this article and whether the article will go, will be warned as part of the special town meeting on April 18th. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to, uh, I'd like to just read the article and make sure we're all clear on what the article is. And then I will pass this over to uh, Josh Goldstein, who's here representing the Planning Council, and John Meyer is here as well, uh, representing the, the uh, Planning Council. But the article that we are considering is, shall the voters authorize the construction of sidewalks on Jersey Heights? Any remaining balance should be used for sidewalk operating expenses in the amount not to exceed $200,000 to be financed over a period not to exceed five years. So that is the article, and um, I'm going to turn it over to Josh. So Josh, if you could uh, remind us, and again, John's, Josh is here representing the, uh, the Planning Council, and just remind us of the, the importance of this article. I would love to. Thank you for all meeting. We're all pretty busy these days in the tumultuous times, so thank you for this special meeting. Um, quite simply, I'm just asking for the measure to be put on the ballot as it was warned. I mean, it was warned that it will be on the floor vote for April 18th. Um, this project, as far as background, is absolutely my baby. Like, I'm trying to create a walkable town on, in my role as planning council member. Um, the, the opportunism shouldn't be lost. There's a lot of talk around town about how much this is going to cost, but over 57% of this walkway is being constructed out of developer dollars. Um, we just had a discussion last night, casual at best, but since that estimate was done, which we got funded, you know, partly private dollars, partly out of the town budget, uh, we've had another development come online for Jersey Heights. That developer will be required to put sidewalk in as well. So. So we're, we're, we're bearing the, the minimal brunt of this construction. Um, all of my points in my letter to you are made, uh, it's, it's, it's a very uh, popular development area right now with a lot of new homes, who knows how many kids, and we're connecting one school in the center of our village all the way out to another school on the outskirts of town, right through the core of the village. Um, beautification, safety, walkability, and, you know, as far as planning council is concerned, we've, we've made our lobby for this, and you all agreed, and mistakes happen, but it was warned to be on the floor, so we're just asking that it make that floor vote on the 18th. And, and I'll be there to support it on the 18th for the townspeople. This is not, this is not your ask, it's our ask, it was our recommendation to you, so we just ask that the town be able to vote. <clears throat> And regarding, there was some rhetoric that, you know, well, it would have been defeated soundly. I mean, verbatim it, it says from the council, following legal advice, the select board has opted to take the following action to resolve this matter according to law. All votes cast for or against Article 5 on the Australian ballot will be disregarded. So, <clears throat> it's persona non grata. Like, well, let's put it to vote. Yeah. That's it. That's my request. Okay, I, for one, am glad to hear that that you, Josh, and perhaps the entire planning council will be there at the special meeting on the 18th if we should decide to put this on and warn it and to I, explain my that son to the is town. Graduating from Paris Island that week, and I just delayed oh. the trip a day, so I will be here. Oh, thank you. Really, really hopefully, yeah. you good for you. Um, discussion by the select board, or perhaps a motion to entice discussion. Um. I will make a motion that we um, put it on the um, 
<coughs> I'm not quite sure how to word this, um, add it back into the special meeting as originally planned? Under the agenda. Under Warn the agenda as originally planned? Warn the article as read? Yeah. Warn the article as read on the agenda as we had originally intended. Do I have a second? <coughs> second. Discussion. Any discussion on the part of the <coughs> select board? Well, if I know that you had a lot more information to share, and I'd like you to do that if possible. Did she ask me? I think she asked you, Josh. Is that was that for Josh? Yes, please. What what can I share, Judy? I'd be happy to. Uh, you you had a little more detail on um, the work that you did to get this project going. I mean, you said the de developers were paying for part of it, but you also worked with, um, I'm not quite sure, um, um, an owner of some property about saving some maple trees. You had some more detail. I think it would be pertinent for this discussion. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess to expound a little, so I, it was just my brainchild uh, was hoping to create a walkway. Um, in speaking with Todd and with the planning council, you know, it just came out that as all these developments come online in Jersey Heights, like they're being required by DRB or by Todd administratively, I'm not sure which to put sidewalks in. So it makes sense to, um, to connect them all. Um, we got a developer to fund half the cost for a proposal of, of the proposed cost uh, out of his own dollars. And then we got the town to budget as well. The, Sidewalk was going to go by Jason MacArthur's house, I think it is, and there's five or six 80 to 100 year old maple trees there. So we did some work to make sure we save those for, you know, for his preference, but also for the town. I mean, they're old, they're old trees. We had help from the arborist. So that walkway has been rerouted around. It will create a, a bump out, thereby slowing down traffic coming into town, which is, which is a major selling point, especially given some of the public opinion we've had on Jersey Heights about people speeding, no safe place to walk. So, uh, it's in, in my in my personal opinion, and forget my planning council hat. Like I want to see this project happen. Um, I think it's a win-win-win, and the fact that it's more than half paid at this point by developers' dollars, you know, the people will vote. But like I think the town has some obligation there to to finish this thing and create a a, a walkable corridor all the way to the village. It just makes sense to me, so. I just want to be clear too, for okay. everybody's sake, that we're not discussing the merits of yeah. this. Um, that is for um, April 18th. The, what we're discussing was that the, at the last meeting, we, it was a vote to remove it from, the, from this meeting, which it was a 3-2 vote. Um, now under some discussion, we were going off lots of, uh, Legal advice, it's come back to our attention that maybe that wasn't the best decision. So am I correct? Yes. So yeah. I just want everybody to be clear. We're not discussing, and I, I, I appreciate your time. I just don't want you to waste your time because. Yeah, I'll okay. say it all over again on the 18th yeah. if I can. Yeah, thank you, Laura. I was, just about, to, oh, I was just about to say the same thing. Yeah. We're here tonight not to discuss the merits of this article. However, I did let you say that because the Planning Council is the reason that we're here tonight. Yeah. It is their um, activity that has basically uh, suggested this meeting tonight. So I think it's really important that they get the opportunity to do that. But we as a select board and um, the public are really here just to talk about whether this article should be warned, not the merits of the article. So um, I want to give the select board just a little bit of time to talk about that or is there, is there any discussion about whether this article should be warned or not not whether it should be voted up or down i any? i mean i don't think there's a discussion i think the last vote certainly expressed my because i voted that it that no it should not be taken off okay. so i think that was pretty clear okay. <laughs> Somebody, okay. so um, judy, judy any comments no. Thanks, Josh. Okay. I mean, I'll just add quickly, you know, I, um, I went with the legal advice last time. Um, sounds like, as Laura mentioned, that stance has changed. I now have a better understanding of the project as well. I know we're not talking about that tonight, but um, yeah, 
I think it sounds like the facts have changed and had we not gotten that legal opinion last time, I would not have voted to take it off last yeah. time. I think that's true for probably all of us, yes. Yeah. And yeah. we're, I've, again, will say I'm really glad we're back here tonight. Um, any other comments about the merits of whether this article should be voted upon, warned and voted upon on April 18th? Not about the article itself. Yes, sir. Sure. Could you step up to the microphone? Introduce yourself. <clears throat> yeah, well, my name's Eugene Dombach. I live down in the end of Congress Street. The way I look at this article, I'm not judging anybody. I'm not saying anything. But this is how I feel about this article. Since the select board has the power to yank it out of this Australian ballot and out of the process, it seems that you can put it back into another Australian ballot type thing instead of a special meeting. Just because the, the wordature of a, a road, we all know which road we are talking about. We don't live in a giant town that there's 17 sidewalk projects on. We know where it was. I'm not sure why you let that go. You should have been on top of that. On top of what? It's in words. It's sir, the words. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sir, that's, that's, your, that's your, that's, 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 your yeah. comments are addressed to the chair and not to the, right. not to the public. So I take an example. Take an article that has a high failure possibility. We know it failed 1,000 votes to 300 and something. Add an incorrect word description, spelling, bang, it gets ejected from the ballot, which all the town has the time to vote on. Now it goes to a special meeting, which only a small amount of people, I don't see a lot of people here tonight. So it's way easier to convince a room full of people to vote your way than to have a whole town vote on a ballot that we already know that got voted on, it's already failed. Seems it could be seen, I see it as fraudulent move. I know it needs to happen, but the way it's happening, it's totally wrong. To me, please. Folks, we need to have the developers pay for this. You said 50%, I think 50%, 57% of the vote. You guys really should force the developers to make the rest of that. Thing. The other developments that have happened in this town in the past, I believe the developers all made some kind of improvement to our town. Again, I'm going to ask you just to address just, whether the article should go in, not the so merits this, of the article. I mean, the article shouldn't, shouldn't continue because it's, you should really dissolve this article, rewrite the zoning laws and make the developers pay for it, not as taxpayers. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not fair. It's, it's, it needs to be dissolved. The ballot got kicked off, it's, it, it really should go next year. If you want to keep it on Australian ballot, then do Australian ballot. But I think the town already spoke their mind on our last Australian ballot. Everybody knew where that sidewalk was going, so I don't know why the town wants to waste more money on a, a, a ballot that's probably going to fail again. Okay, thank you. And it really should be the developers. I'm for the thing, but I don't think us taxpayers should be paying that. That's really a developer cost. Any, any other comments? Any comments about whether we should warn the article? Go ahead, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, uh, my name is Tom Fudier, and uh, whatever your feelings are about this sidewalk, you put it on the ballot and you let the people decide what they want to do. And, that, and that's what this democracy is about. That's what you guys are about. Uh, you, you, uh, let them decide. If you don't want it, vote no. If you do, vote yes. So, Thank you. Uh, Go ahead. Introduce yourself, please. <clears throat> Dave Campbell. I live in Pinewood Estates in Morrisville. And on, this, on the ballot, I read it. And I know where Jersey Way is. And I just figured Jersey Way went from there all the way to Bishop Marshall if there was a sidewalk there. So I voted no. Because... Our budget is so extravagant right now, we're trying to find ways of reducing it. And I'm not, to I'm not against the sidewalk, but at this point in time, yes. The merits of voting for the article, please, not yes. the sidewalk. Uh, but that's the way I feel. There's 
probably less than 50 people that will use that sidewalk. There's not many that use the one now. So yeah. that's, Thanks. and like I said, you got Jersey Way in there. Thank you. Everybody who's lived here in town knows where Jersey Way goes up to. Thank you. Mr. Green? Again, I'm just going to ask people, please try and just discuss whether we should be warning the article. Martin Green, Best Street. I am in favor of warning the article. I think it's just in the best interest of public safety of the town, and I'm in favor of that. Thank you. Thank you. You have a hand on Zoom, Tom. Okay. Kathy Chaffee. Go ahead, Kathy. Um. Okay, I'm going to try to say to you what you're asking. Tell me how I did after. I do not feel that it should be um, on the floor vote. I feel that um, it was Australian ballot. Um, all the voters, at least 90% of them, knew it was Jersey Way, Jersey Heights. The other thing is, is that you can't even fit a thousand people in where we're having Austria, uh, where we're having a floor vote. So how's that going to work out? It makes it look like you didn't like the first answer and you're trying to make it and bring it to a smaller venue where you can't even hold a thousand people to vote on this it does not look good it put it back on the australian ballot next year or however we're going to vote next year fine no problem doesn't look good you don't even have a big enough venue find enough big enough venue maybe the people won't come but it doesn't look good thank you Thank you, Kathy. Can, oh. Go ahead, Laura. Well, um, a question for you. Um, given the situation with the budget, there will be another Australian ballot that has to go out. Is that correct? There will be. We're getting, we're treading into Sarah's territory pretty heavily, <laughs> so I'm very I'm careful with my answer. I, I have a <laughs> so, so, simple question. Yeah, so yeah. could. So could this be on the, on the ballot again? No, no, and I double checked okay. because that was um, reading Front Porch Forum. I thought that that was a question that might come up. Um, so I wanted to get legal opinion on that. Mm -hmm. um, no, because of changing the word changes the, um, it, it, cha it makes it a brand new article and we can, um, how H42 that oh, allowed wow. us to vote on Australian ballot was only to write, um, to vote on um, Australian, um, uh, sorry, I had a ski accident this week. I don't oh, know a lot no. of it. Um, only on um, annual meeting, anything that was warned on annual meeting or reconsideration of anything that was warned. And the legal opinion I got was by changing the word of the street, even it, even knowing that it was a typo makes it a new um, article. So you would have to have, so that doesn't fall under what, how H42 was written to allow Australian ballot. So you could only warn this on an Australian ballot if after the special election on April 18th and if the question passes the voters about voting public questions um, in the budget by Australian ballot. So even though the petition had the correct verbiage. There wasn't a petition. There wasn't a petition. Okay. Not yet, not yet. All right. So there could be a petition, but if there was a petition, it would have to be by floor vote unless it happens after the special election and the voters vote. Right now, we don't have authorities by the voters to vote by Australian ballot. We only have the authority of H42, so our hands are mm -hmm. unfortunately tied. Thank, Thank you for anticipating. The, the, on, the only other advice I got um, was that it could be put in the budget, a line item in the budget, but then you're increasing your budget, and I don't think that voters want that based on the outcome, but that is me being yeah. very hypothetical and maybe I shouldn't have even said that out loud. But, thank you for the clarification, um, sir. That was the legal advice I got. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you for anticipating the question, because that was a big one. Tony, I'm gonna ask Tony to come up and again, I'm gonna remind people, please just speak to the, the warning of the article. So I'm representing we the people again. 
from Cody Hill. I think it should be Australian ballot because that's the way it was voted on the first time. And we're not going to get 25 people to vote yay or nay in the auditorium. And that's not fair to the taxpayers. I, I feel the sidewalks can wait for another year. That's all on the construction up there in hell, and there's not a lot of walkers going up through there. And actually, I'm, I'm for your project. I like your project, but it's, it's too early. There's no reason why the taxpayers need to pay for the sidewalks until we know what's going in there. There's going to be a couple more buildings going in there. I mean, we can all see to that. The, speak to the article, please. Yeah. I say no. Australian ballot. Okay. Um, anybody else who hasn't had a chance to say anything yet? I'll just make it quick. Did I understand what Sarah said that if we do a petition before the 18th that uh, and we get enough signatures, which I know we can because everybody, you know, anyway, is that what I understood? If, we make, if somebody gets a petition going to put it on Australian ballot for the whole town to vote as they did the first time? I am not going to answer for Sarah, so I'm going to let her <laughs> come up and answer your question. She's right behind you. No, uh, right now we only have the authority to vote on this this article on a floor vote. So even if there's a petition, it will have to be a floor vote. The only way that this could be an Australian ballot vote is if the voters vote at the special meeting on April 18th to move to Australian ballot. But right now, if I receive a petition before that, we would just be having another special floor vote meeting. So, so okay. just from my clarification, so if a petition came through um, to uh, put this on Australian ballot, um, it would go to floor vote. Then if, if everybody voted to have an Australian ballot, could it be put on the special Australian ballot that would be the budget? Because we have an extra one this year. Sarah? <laughs> Or would it have it all depends on timing yeah it I don't know and and that's why the attorney gave the legal advice to wait right. because we have this special election coming up so we're at the moment we're floor vote but we could be Australian ballot voting after April 18th but we don't know what we're gonna be and we don't know when that budgets we don't know when your budget is going to be ready to be warned so it's all a timing it's it's also the timing of like receiving that petition but then we moved to australian ballot forcing us to have the special election so that's all these timing in play but if i'm if i receive a petition between now and april 18th it's a hundred percent floor vote after that it could change but my answer right now is it, it would be a floor vote and I know I'm, I'm, my explanations are complicated, but no, no, we're no, living in a complicated time. It's time. Yeah. Complicated situation. So I'm going to ask the select board, are we, are we ready to, to vote? We have one more question from someone that hasn't spoken yet. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't see your hand. No, it's okay. I just did. Um, Laura Green, Best Street, Morrisville. As, um, as I'm listening, it's just made me realize it is much more fair, I think, to all the taxpayers for it to go on Australian ballot, however all those details work. Um, you know, as, as disappointing as it would be, being a resident that does actually walk, I'm a human being that uses that sidewalk, <laughs> yeah, and I walk to town regularly, um, I, I would be willing to wait another year for, you know, by then maybe all these developers will have their stuff done and then we know exactly what we have to put in from the town. Um, so. I, I, I guess I'm for it going to Australian ballot. I think everybody should still have the chance to vote. Judy, any comments? No, I'm ready to vote. Ready? Uh, was my motion seconded? 
Judy. Yes, it was by, by oh, okay. Judy. Thank you. So, all those in favor of taking the article as read and putting it to a vote at the special town meeting on April 18th, 2023. Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Laura? <laughs> Can you vote and then if there's a majority, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm really torn because um, I agree with the Australian ballot. Um, but this was what we had planned. Um, so I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not going to say no. Okay, I'm going to say yes. So it carries three to one. This is once again just another example of how difficult mm -hmm. things can be. There was a lot of, a lot of very um, convincing comments made. I, I can't say as if I disagree with any of them personally myself, but I do feel. I'm just speaking for myself right now that the Planning Council has put a tremendous amount of work into this. It wasn't done over the course of a couple of weeks. It was done over a much, much longer period of time than that. And it was the intent from the very beginning that the voters do get a chance to vote on this. And I do want to thank our uh, town clerk for filling us in with what's obviously a pretty complicated um, situation that we find ourselves in once again, having to deal with Vermont law and having to deal with H42, which was unique this year. So I will take a motion to adjourn. I will second. I will take a motion to adjourn. I so moved. I have a motion from Judy. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's 4 0. We are now adjourned. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Judy. Thank you.